Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. So students, today we are going to do an important topic that is types of charges over securities. Very important topic. So whenever you take a secured loan, you give some security for that. Okay. So there are various types of loans that you can take various types of secured loans that you are going to take. So that's what we are going to do today. Okay. So you might have heard the words like hypothecation, mortgage, right? That's what we are going to discuss lean. That's that's the t today's topic. And my name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exam today from last 10 years. So this is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. And we have started the IBPS RRB scale to one scale three GBO course. So recently we have slashed the prices. You can join the course. The link is available in the description. Join as soon as possible so that you can take the full advantage of that course. OK, so what is a security? Security in banking terms and specifically in relation to bank refers to any asset on which a charge is created by a bank in its favor. So let's say uh, you take a home loan, right? You take a home loan or a gold loan. So what is the simple process of taking a gold loan? You have some jewelry, you let's say you have 100 grams of gold in, in form of jewelry, you go to bank, and exchange of that gold, they give you some, you know, they take the gold as a security deposit and they, they give you money against it. Okay, they give you a loan, right? So in case you default, they are going to sell off your uh, jewelry and they're going to recover the money. So in simple term, this is security, I hope you're already aware of it, right? I don't think there is any doubt regarding that. So the bank is going to utilize the asset, the bank is going to sell off and the bank is going to recover. So there are certain kinds of charges. So the fixed charges there, let me just hide myself. So there are basically two types of charges, the fixed and the floating. So you took a loan from bank, right? Uh, let's say you took gold loan, gold loan, the gold is fixed. It is the same gold, uh, gold jewelry or you took the home loan, right? It is the same home against which you took the loan. So that is a fixed charge. There is a fixed charge against the same gold, gold jewelry or the same home or the same factory, right? Or same uh, where the, uh, the security is specific. That is fixed charge where the security is not specific. When you took loan against uh, stock, there is some certain stock in your factory, in your store, right? In your warehouse and the stock is moving. Okay. I mean, on regular basis, the customers are buying products from you, right? And that is moving the security is not specific. So if you are pledging your stock, that is a floating charge. So this is the basic difference between fixed charge and floating charge. And you need to understand these are the basic uh, differentiate uh, differentiating factors in the charges. Ye do basic tarah ke charges hote hain, theke? So uh, types of loans, basically types of charges, wo, uh, categories si charges ki. these are the categories of charges. And these are the basic types of charges, there is mortgage, there is pledge, there is hypothecation, lien and the personal liability. So this is a very beautiful table. If you if you are able to uh, remember this table, the whole of the chapter is actually covered the pura chapter ek slide se cover ho jata hai. So there is mortgage, uh, mortgage is on immovable property. Uh, for example, house, uh, house, land, building, which cannot be, uh, which which doesn't move, right? And who has a possession? Borrower has a possession. Home loan is a good example. Home loan, home loan is a very good example of mortgage. What is pledge? So a pledge is uh, created on a movable property. Okay. And lender has a possession share certificate loan against the share certificate or the gold jewelry gold loan is a very good example of pledge. The gold loan that you're taking it's a pledge. Hypothecation is created on movable property. Uh, it's uh, such as plant machinery automobiles, right? So that is hypothecation borrower has the uh, the possession for example, car loan. You take a car loan, it is a movable asset, right? And uh, you got the possession, you drive it, you, you know, you enjoy the asset. And in case you default, the bank is going to sell off that asset. 
lien. So it is created on paper securities such as shares, debentures, mutual funds, borrower uh, bonds, and the lender has a possession. Lender has a possession of that. Generally, the you know uh, the owners of the companies they they take the promoters of companies or the directors of company they take such loans. Personal liability it is is nothing but personal guarantee. Uh, so personal loan is a good example. Uh, let's say I mean you give a guarantee for somebody else, right? You a friend of yours took the loan and you give guarantee. So that is a personal liability. Okay. Difference between lien and pledge. So you can so this table explains everything. This particular table explains everything, but there is a certain fine difference between lien and pledge because uh, both uh, in these, uh, it's also movable property. It's also movable kind of a property. Lender has a position. Both of them lender has a position, but there's a one fine difference. Lien does not constitute ownership. Rather, it is a type of encumbrance, right? Therefore, lien is simply right to retain the asset, not to sell. So lien may uh, the lender cannot sell, but pledge may the lender can sell. Lender can sell in pledge. Lien may not sell. Kar sakte, hai? What is the difference between pledge and hypothecation? Pledge or hypothecation may difference kya hai? Again, please refer to this table. Pledge or hypothecation may kya difference dikh hai? What is the difference? Who has the possession? Lender has a possession in pledge. Uh, borrower has a possession in hypothecation. And now let's get back to this. Pledge is a charge on movable property with possession transfer to lender while hypothecation the it is without possession transfer. So please remember that ye aapko yaad rakhna hai table. If you remember the table, it's very easy peasy question for you, right? If you want to read the details, you can. What is the meaning of crystallization of a floating charge in case of, uh, you know, uh, bankruptcy? business band hone wala hai business is closing down business hi band hone wala hai in that case if the borrower usne stock ke against stock ke against loan liya hua hai right the loan is against stock obviously uh, he is not going to make more of the inventory the inventory is i mean inventory khatam hone wali hai in that case uh, the floating charge becomes fixed charge because अभी तो क्या है कि ये स्टॉक चेंज ही नहीं हो रहा है जितना पड़ा है 10000 यूनिट पड़ा है ये बिक जाएगा उसके बाद नया स्टॉक आएगा ही नहीं इन दैट केस फ्लोटिंग यू नो चार्ज बिकम्स फिक्स्ड चार्ज द प्रोसेस इज नोन एज क्रिस्टलाइजेशन इट मींस द फ्लोटिंग चार्ज बिकम द फिक्स्ड चार्ज बिकॉज़ द बोरवर सीज टू बी अ गोइंग कंसर्न और या बिजनेस वाइंड अप होने वाला है व्हाट इज असाइनमेंट ऑफ एक्शनेबल क्लेम इन केस a person generally bank does that the bank you know apna jo right hai wo transfer kar deta bank transfer the rights its right so it's a transfer of rights and benefits of unsecured debt from one person to another so that is action transfer of assignment of an actionable claim so transfer of rights and benefits of an unsecured debt what is the difference between lien and pledge lien on pledge mein kya difference hai again refer the table i want to go back but सारे एनिमेशन खराब होगा लीन एंड प्लेज में क्या डिफरेंस है मैन एनी वेज लेट्स गो बैक लीन एंड प्लेज में क्या डिफरेंस है दिस इज द लीन एंड दिस इज द प्लेज व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस इट्स ऑन मूवेबल गुड्स इट्स ऑन पेपर सिक्योरिटी सो लेंडर लेंडर बट वी डिड दैट सेपरेटली लीन में वो सेल आउट नहीं कर सकता प्लेज में कर सकता है सो लीन और उसमें डिफरेंस क्या है लीन और उसमें प्लेज में डिफरेंस है अ लीन इज अ राइट टू रिटेन द पोजिशन अंटिल द डेट इज पेड while a pledge is a transfer of possession of property as a security of for a debt so transfer of possession uh, as a security for a debt and uh, in pledge the the pledge he can sell off the security okay what are the essential elements of a valid mortgage valid mortgage mein kya kya hota hai so there is a transfer of interest first of all transfer of ownership nahi hoti bank ko ownership ya possession nahi de rahe aap bank ko sirf interest de rahe ho transfer of interest hai that in case you default the bank is going to take over the property and they are going to you know recover the loan right and it is for an Im immovable property so transfer of interest or immovable property uh, consideration registration this is the important factors theek hai bank nahi ghar mein rehne aa raha ya bank ke paas possession nahi hai ghar ki agar aap home loan lete ho transfer of interest to hai and mortgage is anyways and for an immovable property right 
what are the advantages and disadvantages of an uh, assignment of an actionable claim it is very easy to create ye to sure hai isme uh, stamp duty nahi lagti there is no stamp duty no reg registration but there can be some prior uh, claims a notice is required and limited scope is there okay so these are the factors uh, you can pause the video and read this what is the difference between mortgage and charge mortgage mein transfer of interest hai interest jo hai uh, that it is transferred in an immovable property while in in charge there is a creation of interest in any property okay in charge there is a creation of interest what is the difference between fixed and floating charge as i already told you in fixed charge the asset is specific pura specific hai ki this particular car this particular house floating mein maybe a stock pe ho sakta hai the it is not specific right so fixed mein that is a specific asset floating mein on a class of asset inventory ka lo up it's a class of asset right advantages and disadvantages of a mortgage uh, advantages um, it's like high security low rate of interest long uh, repayment period disadvantages high cost legal formalities risk of foreclosure zyada important question ye wala nahi hai but for the sake of you know knowledge you can read that pichle jo kiye hain wo zyada important hai what are the types of mortgages simple uh, use of fracturi uh, fracturi uh, mortgage uh, english equitable anomalous reverse so all of these are types so let's understand very important english mortgage pichle exam mein bhi aaya tha simple one is simple you take a home loan right uh, you transfer the interest uh, you transfer the interest in the immovable property but possession transfer nahi ho rahi यूसु फ्रक्चुअरी टंग टू वेस्टर मॉर्गेज में क्या है वे द बॉर्वर ट्रांसफर एंड इंटरेस्ट इन द इमूवल प्रॉपर्टी टू द लेंडर अलॉन्ग विद डिलीवरिंग द पोजेशन और अग्रींग टू डिलीवर द पोजेशन इसमें पोजेशन भी जा रही है या यू प्रोमिस टू डिलीवर द पोजेशन एज वेल सो दैट इज अ मेजर डिफरेंस इन इंग्लिश मॉर्गेज इन द अग्रीमेंट वेन एवर यू डू द मॉर्गेज अग्रीमेंट वे द बॉर्वर ट्रांसफर एंड इंटरेस्ट पहले तो ट्रांसफर ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दैट इज अ कॉमन इन इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी टू लेंडर बट देर इज एन एड ऑन विद एन अग्रीमेंट टू सेल इट एब्सिल्यूटली ऑन कंडीशन दैट पहले तो आप जो अग्रीमेंट कर रहे हो देर इज एन ट्रांसफर ऑफ एन इंटरेस्ट राइट प्लस अग्रीमेंट कर रहे हो अगर मैं पैसा नहीं दे पाता यू सेल इट अग्रींग टू सेल इट एब्सिल्यूटली ऑन कंडीशन दैट सच सेल शेल बिकम वर्ड इफ द लोन इज रीपेड अगर ये लोन रीपेड नहीं हुआ तो आई एम गो ना सेल ऑफ सेल ऑफ दिस एसेट ओके दैट इज इंग्लिश वट इज रिवर्स मॉर्गेज इन रिवर्स मॉर्गेज यू हैव हाउस ऑफ लेट्स ए वन करोड़ रुपीज बट यू डोंट हैव मनी टू सर्वाइव सो इन दैट केस यू देर इज एन यू नो अग्रीमेंट विद अ बैंक दैट आप मेरे को हर महीने लेट से मेरे को ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज दे दीजिए एंड देन इन केस आफ्टर ट्वेंटी थर्टी ईयर्स the bank is going to recover the money from the legal hires or the bank is going to sell off the asset okay an equitable mortgage is one where the borrower transfers an interest in immovable property to the lender by depositing title deeds or by oral agreement the lender can recover the loan by selling or foreclosing the asset in case of default so that is equitable anomalous mortgage is one that is not simple that can be a combination of above mention uh, above mention types of mortgages and that's i guess all for today students that was a pretty uh, good session i would say ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com we are providing video classes and notes quizzes test series power capsules live sessions and interview preparation guidance all that is available on bankexamstudy.com uh uh if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts this is my whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and i'm going to be going to answer your doubts and list of our successful students all these students took our courses in the past in 2022 ibps rrb gb all these students took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts and i guess that's all for today thank you and have a very nice day bye bye